Hi there and welcome once again. This is Jennifer McGuire and I hope you're having a good week. So I enjoy once in a while changing things up and making cards that open in a non-traditional way. So today I'm going to show you a really easy way to make gatefold cards. What's unique about these cards is that the gatefold opening are actually triangles and there's a belly band around the card. These can be done in a variety of sizes and I'll show you a few different sizes today. And you can use whatever products you have. They're easier to make than you would think, so I hope you'll give it a try too. And by the way, I will link below to the different size envelopes that I like to use with these different size cards. Let's start with this example here. That's, this one's about four and a half inches by four and a half inches. I love square cards. On this one, on the belly band, I'm using a sunshine die cut. This is the Pretty Pink Posh Aloha Shaker die. It has the word Aloha included on it, but I'm trimming that off, so I just have the sunshine, and I can save the Aloha for another card. I die cut this, these pieces from some three different shades of yellow cardstock, a light, medium, and dark. And then I also found a circle die that I could use, and I did that to cut out the stitching around the inside of that shaker die. I just wanted to have an extra, an extra piece to layer on, but you could assemble this however you want. So I have a light yellow circle that I'm gluing the rays on, then I'm putting this little stitch piece that I cut out, and I have a nice layered piece to go on the front of my belly band. By the way, a belly band is the piece that wraps around the card that the person slides off to open it. Okay, here I have a four and a quarter by four and a quarter inch square note card that I created from white cardstock. On the front of this card, I'm going to ink it with this new Pretty Pink Posh Wave Stencil. Over the stencil, I'm applying Gina K Ocean Mist ink with my Picket Fence Life Changing Brushes. I like using these brushes because it's easy to put a nice, even, light layer of color if you want, but you could use any inking tool that you want. Okay, now I'm going to take the stencil and shift it a bit and apply some more color. I just thought it'd be fun to add a little bit more ink on the background and get a new look from the stencil. Okay, let's create those triangle flaps that wrap around our card. Remember that white card is four and a quarter by four and a quarter inches. For that size card, the flaps need to be three inches by three inches square. So I have two three inch by three inch square pieces of cardstock. And I'm using my scoring tool and bone folder to score right diagonally across the center of each of them. I will then reinforce those two fold lines. Basically what I'm doing is creating the two flaps that will wrap around our card. Again, this card is four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And these two pieces are three inches by three inches. And that d works out perfectly. And the ma I did the math for it. Actually, my engineering degree actually came in some use here. And I was able to make sure that these would be the perfect size for this card. So there you can see how they fit nicely right up against the edge. Okay, now it's time to glue these onto the back of these. You really want to be sure that this is glued on here good and that they don't come off. I find it best to use a strong liquid adhesive. That way you can kind of push them in tight against the edge, but you can use any adhesive that you have that you feel is strong. So I'm gonna wrap this around the back of the card, wrap this one around this side, turn it over, make sure they're lined up, and because I use the liquid, I can move it around until it's positioned perfectly. And then I'm kind of pressing it in around the card. By the way, the fold of the card is at the top. So once I have those positioned nicely, I can go ahead and press it down until it dries, which doesn't take long at all. Next, I want to add a piece of cardstock to the back to give it a nice finished look. I decided that I wanted this cardstock to show around the edge. So once I glue this on here and trim it down, it'll be about four and a half inches by four and a half inches. If you wanted to, you could make it so that this cardstock doesn't show around the edge. Then it would still be four and a quarter inches by four and a quarter inches, and you could use it in a regular envelope. Okay, now that we have finished our card, let's hop back and finish our belly band. So on that layered sunshine die cut that we created earlier, I added the word sunshine using the Pretty Pink Posh sun, Sunshine Script Die. That's a mouthful. I did die cut that twice from yellow cardstock and glued those together. And then I die cut it from Lawn Fawn Gold Sparkle cardstock. 
and glued that on top. By giving it that extra dimension, it stands out nicely. And then I glued that onto our sun. Now to create the belly band itself, I like to tape the card closed just temporarily. It makes it easier. Then I cut a strip of vellum. This is about an uh, inch and a quarter wide. And I wrap it around the card. Now you don't want to wrap it super tight. You can see I'm kind of being loose about it. I'm just kind of pressing it to wrap around. Then I take it off and then I finish creasing it. That way the band is a little bit bigger than the card so it slides on easily. Okay, so now I need to wrap these two ends together. So I'm using some double-sided tape. You can use any adhesive here that you want. I'm using lawn fawn adhesive here. This is quarter inch double-sided tape. I just started using this and I find that it works wonderfully. So I put some onto the one end of the vellum and then I will close it up and this is the belly band that will wrap around our card. You'll want to test it and make sure that it goes on easy enough that the person will know to take it on and off. But you don't want it to be so loose that it falls off. So there I'm testing it and it works perfectly. Okay, now it's time to add our sunshine die cut on top. I find it best to have it off of the card, the belly band off the card, as we assemble this. So I put double-sided tape on the back of our sunshine die cut. And I'm actually taping our belly band down temporarily just so I can make sure this is centered and straight. And I'll glue it right onto the front of our band. If you wanted to, you could do the folded edge behind the sun, but I didn't think of it at the time, so the folded edge will be on the back of the card. Now for the rest of the sentiment on my sun, I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Tropical Birds stamp set. And I'm actually going to be using those birds in this set later on. I really like that palm tree too, so I plan to use that in the future. On this card, I'm using the Sending You Sunshine sentiment, and I'm actually cutting the words apart very carefully. You can do this and that gives you a new look for your sentiment. So I cut out the word sending you and I'm going to stamp those right above the word sunshine. And this is Gina K Sweet Mango Ink. That way I can use the sending you with the sunshine die cut. Or if I wanted to, I could stamp it how it was originally intended and stamp sending you sunshine. Cutting up your stamps is a great way to get more from them. I also thought it'd be fun to stamp another sentiment on the inside of the card when you open it up. So I'm using an older Pretty Pink Posh stamp set that I've used many times in the past. And this is the Everyday Greetings. So I have my card that we assembled in my Misty stamping tool. And I have the You Are Amazing sentiment. And I'm stamping that with black ink right at the center. Okay, so let's look at the completed card. Here you can see I added some pretty pink posh gold jewels that I thought matched nicely with the glitter cardstock that we used. You can also see how because I stacked my sunshine die cuts, it has lots of dimension. So the belly band easily slides off, you open the flaps, and then there's your card inside where you can write a personal message. And when you're done, you can slide the belly band right back onto the card. And by the way, I have a square envelope that fits this nicely. If you wanted to, you could use a larger regular envelope, like a five by seven, but I really like square envelopes too. Okay, let's look at another example. This is a bigger card. This one ends up being about five inches by five inches. So let's start with creating the belly band pieces. On this one, I'm using the Pretty Pink Posh Beach Scene Die. This is a really cool die that you can piece together like a puzzle to create a really neat scene. So what I did is I dug through my scraps in my drawer and I'm die cutting from some scraps, different colors. So here I want that sand piece from this craft cardstock. I'm actually die cutting multiples of each piece so that I can glue some of them together so parts, parts of my arranged scene are thicker than others. For the ocean, I'm just doing one piece. And then for the sun, I did a few pieces. So after I have all of my pieces arranged up there, we can glue them onto a circle. I found a white circle that's a little bit bigger than our scene, and I'm covering it with adhesive. We really want that to be covered. I then die cut the beach scene die three times from red cardstock to get three red frames. You can see that that die creates these stitch frames. I'm gluing those three together with liquid adhesive. And then I'll put that on that white circle. Remember that white circle has adhesive on it. 
That way we can build all of our pieces inside of this red circle frame. So we can start putting them in. Let's start with the sky up here. I put one piece down for the sky. Then I have the green pieces for the top of the palm tree. I'm going to glue those three together so that the palm tree will stand out a bit more from the sky. Just wanted some different levels of dimension on this. So I'll continue to add pieces and you can see how they fit together nicely like a puzzle, thanks to how this die is designed. It'd be fun to do different inking techniques on the pieces, but I decided just to go with cardstock scraps that I've been saving up. Okay, for this card I decided to go with a large square design. The overall card size is five and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. To create this card, you need to create the flaps that are three and a half inches by three and a half inches square. So that is what you see here. I again have two of them and I'm scoring diagonal along each. Again, these are three and a half by three and a half inches. So after I have these folded, I also have my note card that I've created. That is five inches by five inches. Here you can see that those flaps wrap nicely around this five by five note card. I wanted to stamp on these flaps just to add some subtle interest, so I decided to use the Pretty Pink Posh Hibiscus Flower Stamp Set, which I'll use again on my next card. I stamped with Gina K Whisper Ink on the flaps, and by the way, those flaps are Gina K Whisper cardstock. This will be very subtle. I didn't want it to distract from that little beach scene that we just created with our dyes, but I wanted to add a little something to these. Now it's time to glue the flaps onto the card. So on the inside back of each flap, I'm putting some strong adhesive and then wrapping it around our five inch by five inch note card. Remember to try to get it as tight as you can around it so you don't see any gaps on the side. After I did this, I glued this onto a five and a quarter by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock for a finished look. Now it's time to create our little belly band. Again, I taped the flaps down temporarily just so they don't move around. And then I wrap my vellum around it and fold it, and then tape the ends together. By the way, I like to use vellum for my belly bands, but you could definitely use a wide ribbon, cardstock, whatever you want. You just want to make sure it's not too tight to slide on and off. I again decided to add a strip of my favorite things, black and white striped paper, just for a little bit of interest and that help it kind of draw your eye in towards that focal image we'll add to it. Now after assembling this, I decided to change a few things. I wanted to add a little more interest to the note card itself. But let me show you what I ended up with. Here you can see what it looks like with the belly band on. You can see the different layers of dimension to the die cut. And I did also add a little bit of sparkle with my Spectrum Noir glitter pen to the sun and to the ocean. Now to the note card itself on the inside, I did go and stamp the white note card with the Simon Says Stamp round and round background stamp. And Gina K Whisper cardstock, it's very subtle, but there are circles stamped on that white note card. And I also added a large yellow circle with the You Make Life Fun sentiment. You can see how easy the belly band slips on and it all lines up nicely. And I can put this in a six inch by six inch envelope and I'll link to that below too. And by the way, the sentiments I used on this, including the little hello that's on the beach scene die cut, is from the Pretty Pink, C Pretty Pink Posh Sea Friends stamp set. And then for the inside of the card, I used this Pretty Pink Posh Life stamp set. I thought that sentiment was perfect for the inside of this card. Okay, my next example will fit in a traditional envelope. The overall size of this is four and a quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. Let's start by creating the note card on the inside. For this, I use the Pretty Pink Posh Tropical Background Stencil. This is a beautiful stencil with lots of intricate detail. So I decided to spray the back of it with my Pixie Spray. I just spray it on the back, give it a couple minutes to dry, and then it has this light tack that allows me to hold the stencil in place as I ink over it so that all those little areas don't move. I still sometimes tape it down just to be sure, but you really don't have to. The tack is enough that'll hold it in place. Okay, now I'm using my Gina K Ocean Mist ink and my life-changing brushes to put a light bit of color over this stencil. 
And by the way, I'm inking on the note card that goes inside of our card. And this is four inches by five inches and it's top folding. Okay, so now I've created the two squares that will be the flaps. And these are three and a half inches by three and a half inches. And I've created two from white cardstock. Again, they're three and a half by three and a half. And my note card is four by five. After I glue the flaps on to our note card, you'll notice that the flaps overlap in the middle. When you use a square note card, they meet up at the points in the middle, but with this card design, they overlap. Okay, so now I'm going to glue this onto a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four and a quarter. So this will fit nicely in a regular envelope. Okay, let's create the focal point image for the front of our belly band. For this one, I use the Pretty Pink Posh Tropical Birds stamp set that I showed you earlier. In this case, I use the two birds and the sentiment that says, wish you were here. I also use the branch from this other Pretty Pink Posh smaller stamp set. I stamped all the images with black ink, colored them in with Copic markers, and used the coordinating dies to cut them out. I used the Pretty Pink Posh beach die that I used on my last example to create the frame that has the faux stitching on it, and I assembled everything on a white circle die cut. I'm adding that to a belly band that I created just like I did on my other examples, with that pattern paper going across it too. So here you can see the final card. It ends up being four and a quarter by five and a quarter, and I also added some iridescent jewels to our focal point. So basically, you could make this card design with anything you want on that belly band. I do like having something solid for all the images to sit on. That way, the belly band easily slides on and off and doesn't get caught up on anything. Okay, I have one more example for you. The size is the same as our last example. However, this time on the flaps, I used a background die for some added interest. I'm starting by covering the back of two pieces of white cardstock with Stick It double-sided adhesive. That way, when I die cut this cardstock, the adhesive will already be on the back. I sometimes do this when I find it would be easier with intricate dies to glue something down if the adhesive is already in the back. But the reason I'm doing it in this case is I really want all of the die cut to stick to the vellum that we're going to add it to. Okay, once I've pressed the Stick It double-sided adhesive to the back of the cardstock, I'll use the Pretty Pink Posh Tropical Frame Die to cut from the cardstock. So you put the die down on the cardstock side and then run it through your die cut machine. I found that most die cut machines cut through this with no problem. Today I'm using my Gemini Junior, but other machines would work too. I'll go ahead and cut two pieces like this so I have two frame die cuts. Removing the release paper from the back of one of the die cuts, I'm going to adhere it on to a piece of that platinum vellum. You could use regular cardstock here, but I like that you can see through the vellum and it works really well for the flaps on the card. It really doesn't matter that I'm not covering the entire piece with vellum because we're gonna cut that down in just a moment. And then I'll do the same with the other frame, put that onto vellum also. You wanna be sure to press that down. Stick it adhesive sticks best when you press it down firmly when you're done. Okay, so now I'm going to cut from a corner of this a three and a half inch by three and a half inch piece. So that decorative edge will be the flap on our card. I'll go ahead and do the same with the other one too. So now I'll treat these like I have all the other squares I've made in this video that I've turned into flaps. So again, these are three and a half inches by three and a half inches, and I'm scoring diagonally down the center of both. So really you can do anything you want on these flaps. I thought using the corner of a frame die cut would be fun, but you could use background dies, other kinds of stamping, whatever you want to do. Okay, so now I have a note card that I created that is four inches by five inches and it's top folding. I'm using that same tropical background stencil. And this time I'm using Hero Art's Unicorn White Pigment Ink and an inking tool to apply a light coverage of white ink over the pink note card. I thought this was a great way to soften the look of that note card. You do want to remove any of the excess ink and heat set it to make sure that pigment ink dries before doing anything else. Okay, just as we've done before, we're going to glue these flaps onto our note card and you'll see how the vellum allows some of that pink to show through. 
So dig around at any background dies that you may have or frame dies. They might work for the triangle flaps on this gatefold card design. For a finishing touch, I glued that onto a four and a quarter by five and a quarter inch white cardstock piece. And now I'm creating the belly band. This time I decided to use cardstock that matched the inside note card. So I'll just wrap that around as I did with the vellum. And then I can crease those fold lines and then tape the ends together. Now off screen, I went ahead and stamped some of the flowers and leaves, and then I colored them with Copic markers and used the coordinating dies to die cut them. I assembled them onto a white circle die cut that you see there on the left. And then I'm gluing that little arrangement on the front of our belly band. Now we can slide this onto our card, and all I did was add a simple sentiment onto the flower, and that's from that Sea Friends stamp set that I showed you earlier. So remember to keep your belly band a little bit loose so it slides on and off easily, but not so loose that it falls down when you take it out of the envelope. So here you can see how nice it is to use the vellum and the die cuts for the flaps on the card, and how easy it is for the note card to open up when you open the flaps. So I hope that by showing you different sizes that you can create for these triangle gatefold card designs, that you find an option that will work for you and that you'll give a try. If you're interested in the supplies that I use, I have them linked below in my YouTube description. I also have a lot of information over on my blog, so I encourage you to click on over to there. In the middle here, I have a couple other videos that have variations of gatefold cards. I appreciate this time that you've spent here. I hope you have a wonderful week and get some time to make some cards. Take care and we'll see you soon.